And hello there, guys. Welcome back to Trails of Coast Hill 2. In our last episode, Laura pretty much killed everybody, all those students at the RSA school. Thank you, Laura, for that. That's why you're my waifu. And we are now going to take on the next boss. Now, this boss, again, is not a plot related boss. This is a sub related boss. Uh, a quest, if you would. A quest boss. Now, this boss here, oh, sweet Jesus. I remember him pretty well. He actually has a buff that increases his uh, attack defense and speed and heals himself as well and I believe he has already has a, a lot of HP and all that good jazz too so it's gonna be annoying so we're gonna have to re rely on Delane for this for this guy and if that wasn't bad enough I think he resists delay as well um, now I've not been showing that much of Emma and sharing that much either so I think I'm going to not put in Alyssa if things get real then I'll put in Alyssa actually I put in Alyssa now have her use the heavenly gift then switch her out when things get hectic or who knows I might not end up not switching Alyssa no 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 let's give Emma no let's give Sharon some time because she was here before we reunited with Lara and Emma <sighs> sweet lord alright let's do it come at me bro Okay, okay, good. Sweet. Okay, good. So he didn't get the first turn. The only way he gets the first turn, he'll use the chest beating. And that's not good. Delay, delay, delay. It did not delay. Son of a gun. Alright. Oh, yeah, by the way, Sharon does have a delay as well. For buying the chains. Appropriate. As our title being the Severing Chains, and she did delay him. Sweet. Thank you, Sharon, my love. Let's move. I guess. Ah! More delaying. Good, good, good. My turn. Hopefully we can Sharon! debuff you. Probably. We cannot. Yes, we can. Sweet, sweet, sweet. My turn. So good, so good, so good. Should I increase my speed? I guess so. I mean, it's zero arts. Let's just do that. I don't know if we can debuff him or not. But we'll just go with this for now. Here I go. Hopefully we can delay him even further. Ah! Yes, we did. Now! Along with the crit. Good job, Rain John. Okay. One, two, three, and go. Wasn't a delay. Now. Here I come. But that should be fine, I'm hoping. Alright, um... You know what? I'm gonna switch out Sharon. Let's have her use her Death Embrace. Yeah, even though it says 100% knockout, it's a boss, so it's immune to that. The For the sake of this thumbnail, we shall have the seven chains. Get a snapshot. Good lord. Okay. Sweet. One, oh, two, Laura got a freaking. Huh, those guys, I could have saved that. Ah, oh, whatever. Now. Here I come. My that was pretty good, not gonna lie. Now. An opening. Yeah, I probably already. Probably forgot Onward. to mention it, but yeah, his Arc Slash got involved to true Arc Slash, so now. He does a higher delay now. I could switch actually. Now that I think about it. I could actually switch and do a critical. I could switch. Let's do that. Leave this to you. I'll take it from here. And take advantage of the critical slot as well. Oh yeah, Emma, my love. As much as I like Emma as white food material, it's not, it's not as catchy as saying Laura, my love. 
Alright. Now let's switch for Lessa for the SP region and the Insight. Because I'm really hoping Rain can, and Fee can actually delay him. Now he's going to use the chest beating. And he's going to use And that's going to be annoying when he uses it. My turn. Come on, the Rain Chan. Yes. Good, good, good. Green in his hair. Once again, wrecking havoc to Monster Kind across the globe. Ooh. Hmm. Understood. <laughs> I know what to do. Err. Oh god, but her strength is going to decrease. Eh, we'll go for it. The critical should make up for the, the loss of her strength. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did give her impede as well in her slots. Ah, yeah. Actually, let's have Ring do it. Why not? <laughs> Nothing but S-Crafts now. Now, if we did use a chest beating, it would have been a little bit more annoying because, uh, like I said, it increases his strength, defense, and his speed. But, he didn't use it. So, I am happy. Okay. It's safe for now. Sweetness sauce on a Sunday. Good job, guys. Hey, we have defeated the quest monster. Sweetness, sweetness, we have defeated that monster. That monster was actually pretty freaking tough when I first fought him. Oi. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's funny. Looking at the scene, it reminds me of a myth that I once heard. They say if you're an antagonist, whether albeit human or monster, if you encounter Reen and his harem, you will actually die. So, be a deer and do not ever, ever, ever mess with Reen in his harem. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why I said that. I, I have no idea, really. I, I really don't know. But yeah, it seemed like in this game, it seemed like the most OP characters in this game are girls, except for Reen himself, which is, I'm not complaining about. I mean, having a harem is actually a lot more, is a lot more beneficial than I thought it was. But yeah, but yeah, that's something I always wonder, which is actually pretty cool. I don't know. It's something about Reen being the only guy in the party. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll end here. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys... Uh, I'll go ahead and let you guys ponder that for the time being. But anyway, so tell me guys what you thought about this boss. Did you guys have a hard time with this boss? Did you guys find a way to actually OP the boss better than I could? Let me know in the comment section below. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys next time.